Hello again, Cougar family. It's Aaron Stecker, AD here at Kennedy High School, and this is going to be video number two in terms of using our online activities registration uh, website and feature. Um, the other video that we uh, went through and is available to you was a video of how to set up a family account and register a student athlete for the first time. This video is going to focus on uh, giving a demonstration for those families that, that have used the system before. They registered a student athlete a year ago uh, using this system, so they already have an existing family account. And this is going to be a, a demo geared at showing you how to uh, access your account or get into your account and then to uh, go ahead and register athletes for the 17-18 school year. Um, I actually have the activities registration website up here. It's uh, kennedy-ar.rschooltoday.com. Just a reminder that you can get to this from the Kennedy High School homepage. Uh, I'll get you to the homepage here just so you can see it. So from the homepage, if you click on athletics or hover over athletics, again, this activities registration site is linked there as well. So that'll take you to this homepage um, that you'll see here. Uh, again, just some things to be familiar with here, some links to the uh, boys and girls uh, sites. Uh, as well as our Kennedy High School website and then our calendar website. Again, this calendar, click on those dates. It will show you our or take you out to our, our School Today web-based calendar. Uh, so once you're in the system here, again, you're going to click on this athletic team registration icon. And so here you've got two options. Again, we talked about the new users and, and creating a new account last time. This time we're focusing on the returning users. So you'll click on returning users, log in here. Um, and I'll have to get into my, my demo mode here. So I'm going to re-log into this using the username and password that I used in my previous video when I set up this account. Now, if you, uh, hopefully you wrote those down last time around. If you can't remember what your username and password were, again, you've got this option down here. You forgot your username and password that you can work on getting that uh, recovered or reset by using this feature right here. So once you type those in, you'll go ahead and log in. And now what you're going to come to here, this is kind of your family homepage uh, on this. And it's showing any athletes that you have in the system registered already. Uh, so it's your registration history. Um, to get started here, what you're going to do to register for the 17-18, uh, you have this, this blue register button right here with the, uh, the edit pencil. And click on that, it's going to bring up two options. One of them is registering your existing athletes. Um, you might have one, two, or three athletes listed there, depending on how many students you have at Kennedy High School. So you can register that student athlete, or there's also register a new student. Uh, maybe you are somebody who created an account a year ago, only had one student at Kennedy High School last year, uh, but now you have a second student coming in as an incoming freshman. Uh, so you can also select the register a new student here and go through that process that we demonstrated in the other video uh, to get a second student up and running. But focus here in this video, we're going to go ahead and register our existing student for 17-18 athletics. So uh, this is thinking here for a second. This is same setup as it was last time around. So we're going to go through student information. It will autofill as much information as it possibly can from your previous registration. So here's your student demographic information. The only thing here that you need that you need to adjust is the grade. You'll see that's blank. Uh, the student was a freshman a year ago. They're now going to be a sophomore. So you want to make sure you put their grade in the 17-18 school year. Uh, select that from the drop-down menu. And then uh, if their height and weight have changed, uh, again, remember these are used on our, our rosters. Uh, so this student is uh, Grown two inches and now weighs 175 pounds instead of 160 is costing us a whole lot more, more money at the grocery store now than they did a year ago. So I think there's now as I went, I'm going to hit next page. Step two then is selecting the activities they're going to participate in in the 17-18 school year. Now I have to do something a bit different here. You'll notice that they were registered for cross country, basketball, and soccer if you caught that on the original page. Um, because I've already set this student up in 17, 18, I have to select some different sports just to, for demonstration purposes. But you will use the fall, winter, spring, and summer or all year activities for cheer and dance where you can register them. So I have to select different sports, uh, which may be the case. I and mean, maybe your athletes trying some different stuff this year anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and go with boys golf in the fall this year. And we're going to wrestle this year. 
and we're going to play boys tennis in the spring. And, and you know what? We missed baseball. We're going to go ahead and play baseball this year as well and be a four-sport athlete for this young man. So you select the sports they're going to participate in at this time uh, in 1718. You'll click next page. Next step that will come up is just the parent guardian information. Uh, it's going to auto-fill from a year ago. If you've got changes in phone numbers, change in address, change in email addresses, you can certainly uh, edit any of that information at this point in time. If you didn't add a second parent uh, last time around and now you want to add a second parent or a second contact person in here as a guardian, you can certainly do that at this time. Once everything is at, updated and as you want it, you'll click on next page. Uh, again, the physical, uh, as we talked about in the last video, uh, for those of you who've been around for a while, you understand that you must have a current physical on file. Uh, it cannot be older than 12 calendar months, one year old. Um, so once that physical expires, you will need to upload a new physical into the system. Uh, remember, we give you a 30-day grace period. So if your physical expired on June 15th of 2017, you've got until July 15th of 2017 to get that uh, to get that physical updated and up, uploaded into the system as we're doing our, our checks for permission to practice. Um, as I mentioned, that just a reminder that for a student athlete to have permission to practice, they have to have a current physical on file, as well as uh, they have to have read and signed off on the concussion uh, information, which we'll cover here in just a moment. So uh, my student athlete has a new physical uh, to upload. Now, you may not have one at this point in time. You have to update. Uh, so you don't have to update it at this time. Uh, it's, it isn't required in this stage here. Um, the student athletes say their physical is still good until uh, until October. There's no need for me, and I already have that in the system. I have no reason to upload a physical at this point in time. You can go ahead and click on next page uh, and move on to the next step with medical information. Okay. However, if you have a new physical to upload, I'm going to go ahead and go back to previous page, and uh, you go ahead and you you got a new physical done, and you need to upload that into the system. You'll simply choose file. And you're going to go ahead and go to uh, navigate to wherever you have that at. I'm just going to load a, upload a blank physical file here. So I've chosen it. I'm now going to upload it into the system. And then I need to put the date of that physical in that it was uh, it was performed. Let's say this was done last week, so it was done on June uh, 8th of 2017 was when that physical was done. Again, this is important that you put this date in for us at this time. This is the date that writes into our system. This is the date that will appear in our reports when we go to uh, to uh, evaluate do students, student athletes have permission to practice. Do they have a current physical on file? This date you enter under date of physical exam is what will write into our system, and it's what we're looking at in terms of making sure this current physical on file. Um, it's also important because this system, one of the great things about it, this system is going to send you an email reminder 30 days prior to the expiration of this physical. So May 8th in 2018, uh, this system is going to send me an email saying, hey, your physical is going to expire in 30 days. Make sure you get a new one taken care of. So again, that's an important date to get entered in there. So please make sure you do that. Once you've got that information, again, hit next page. Uh, this is where you're going to update any of your medical information. Last time around, I did not add any of this, but you can add your hospital name. You can add your dentist name. Again, not required. Any medical conditions or allergies, it might be important. If you've got a peanut allergy uh, or diabetes or things that you think it's important for us to know, um, on the, as far as athletics go, you can enter that. Again, it's optional. Um, this information is available to our trainer and to our coaches um, via an app. It's secure. They've got to log in to get to it. Um, but in the case of emergency, uh, this may help us out in terms of uh, making sure we take the best care of your student athlete as possible in those emergency situations. Uh, the, again, the one thing you have to have here is a primary contact. Who's your primary medical contact that in the unfortunate case there's a serious emergency, we need to get in touch with somebody who's the best person and please have that information there for sure. Um, once you've got everything on this page as you'd like to have it, You'll hit next page. This is going to be uh, the review of our district policies. Remember these two things on here, the good conduct uh, and eligibility policy and the, the concussion 
uh, information sheet. Both have to be signed off on annually, so this is your chance to do that for the 17-18 school year for the student athlete. You'll have to do that for each student athlete. So again, this is your Cedar Rapids School District Good Conduct Policy. I believe it's policy 410. If you wanted to go find it on the district website, it's going to talk about our eligibility uh, requirements and expectations and consequences should the good conduct rule be broken. It's going to talk to you about the appeal process, uh, the voluntary admission process, um, how it might impact letters and awards. It's also going to discuss academic uh, eligibility requirements, uh, talk about the F rule and such, the scholarship rule here is in, in number five here. So again, um, these have to be signed off on annually. Okay, so just make sure that you're comfortable with all this. I, again, I did this student yesterday, so um, these dates and things are in here, but I'll just update things to today. Uh, these should be, they would probably be blank because uh, you're doing a brand new 1718 uh, registration here. But again, you'll have to sign off on them. Uh, and then here's your concussion information. Again, that's a big deal. Take it seriously. Make sure you understand what the symptoms of a concussion are. Uh, make sure you're in contact with our trainer and your doctor in terms of uh, evaluating that concussion and making sure we get into the concussion protocol. Um, it can be minor for some and major for others. So let's take it seriously. Should your student athlete get involved in some type of injury involving the head and potential concussion? So this has all that information. Uh, it's required by the state of Iowa Department of Education as well as the Iowa High School Athletic Association and the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. So again, you'll have to sign off on this down here as well. I'll just update this since I did it yesterday. I'll update it to today's date. And and again, at the very end, then you're going to check this box and your student athlete will sign off and parent will sign off and you're going to hit next. And again, this is going to be a review of what I signed up for for this student athlete. I'm going to hit uh, answer my math question to prove I'm human and not a computer. And then I'm going to hit submit. You'll see here now it says, thank you. We, you. We've received that submitted form. Uh, to get back to your family home page, you're going to use this manage account right here. You'll click on manage account. And now you'll see actually I've got this student registered. Uh, it's the same number here, but a different date because I put in different sports. Um, I mentioned earlier on the physical while I've got you on this page. Um, so I, it's, let's see, the scenario I talked about was this student athlete's physical is due up in October. So I wouldn't be getting a new physical or have an updated physical until October. When you log in and get to this family account and registration history page, this is where you can do that very easily. So um, you'll see here underneath physical, there's an add button. So now it's October, my son has had this new physical. I'm gonna go ahead and click add here. And now I'm going, this is the current physical I've got uploaded. I need to go find a new one, uh, find my new physical. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll pick a different, uh, different PDF. It's not the right thing here. I'm just picking something I can upload uh, on there. So I've, I've chosen that file and now I'm going to write the new date of this physical. So it can't be passed. I'm going to have to use a different date because it can't be past today's date. So it's going to be 2017. I know I talked about October, but to make the system work, uh, I'm going to say 06. I'm going to say 14 so that works for me here. I'm going to hit save. That's going to update that new physical. Now, if I go in here and I look at view underneath that, you're actually gonna see the, the, the new file I just uploaded here, which is again, just a fictitious file, but I wanted to show you uh, what that looked like uploading so that it would be the new uh, physical. So that's how you go ahead and update a new physical should that happen sometime during the school year. And you don't have to do that on the initial registration here before the school year starts. I uh, hope this video helps out. Again, the, the goal here was to help families who have created an account uh, get back into that account and register a student for the 17-18 school year. Um, if you have a new student to register, again, this, you don't have to create a new account, use this existing account, just choose register a new student. As always, if you have questions, call us at the office 558-2328 or stop in and we can certainly help you uh, get this process taken care of. Thanks and go Cougars!